The flower trades its life giving sugary secretions to the foraging bee. And in return, the bees offer the trees procreation through pollination. This vital ecological relationship between trees and bees is an example of nature's equilibrium forces working to ensure the survival of both species through interdependence. Beekeeping stretches across the vast expanse of Zimbabwe to locations where beekeepers have been groomed into this lucrative business funded by the European Union through the Forest Forces Project. Benjamin Chatamuka started with nine beehives that translated into an expansion of 260 hives in less than three years. He attributes this rapid growth to the market linkages initiatives and marketing training rendered by the Forest Forces Project. For 10 years, I had nine hives. I didn't know this is a rewarding business. The project came here in 2014 and started developing our knowledge in the beekeeping business and the existing honey markets. They also linked us with markets for us to sell our honey. Honey processing and grading education was also key in increasing produce value for Benjamin. From the beekeeping proceeds, Benjamin has managed to buy a motorbike a much-needed investment for his business. He has also managed to generate enough savings from honey to venture into other businesses. The way in which this project has grown has enabled me to put some of my hives into estates. I use this motorbike to supervise and monitor these hives. I can now increase the number of beehives to 1,000 and I'm currently planning on venturing into piggery and poultry through beekeeping. Funded by the European Union, FAO has been implementing this four-year project to improve food security of vulnerable rural communities through participatory sustainable forest management and valorization of forest products. We have had the opportunity to visit uh, some of the communities that have um, really made use uh, of this project by producing a lot of honey. Uh, and you can see that the communities uh, around these individuals have had very increased uh, incomes. Sibongile of Lupane is one of the prominent female beekeepers and team leader of a beekeeping group in her ward. The project taught them the importance of record keeping. The records facilitate progress analysis, financial decision making, long term planning, and member rewards. This is another prudent business management practice introduced to the beekeepers through the Forest Forces project. We had a workshop on how to make these beehives. As the founding members of the Beekeeping Association, we saw it necessary to expand the project to other wards because we could not meet the demand. Beekeepers can therefore collectively bargain the produce price with buyers, regardless of how little one's contribution is. This season alone, we generated revenue of $800. Similar to Nyovani's story of humble beginnings, Benjamin Chatamuka also realizes significant returns. For him, the plow and hoe have become a thing of the past, as he can manage easy pickings of up to US$1,000 per harvest from a possible three harvests per annum. I collect as much as 20 by 20 kilogram buckets every harvesting season, which adds up to 400 kilograms. We sell this honey at $2.50 per kilogram. We are now encouraging other farmers to venture into this business because the returns are always guaranteed. Through Forest Forces intervention, women like Christensia are showing that beekeeping is not limited to men. In a period of less than three years, she has managed to generate savings that have enabled her to start two separate businesses from the beekeeping income. 
I am a proud owner of 56 beehives. Right now, I have 21 goats. I also started a fish farming project, all financed by income from the honey project. Apart from the sales of honey, beekeeping also offers unusual returns through byproducts such as propolis, candles, candle wax, floor polish, body lotion, as well as pollination services. I sell 250 mils of body lotion for $3 locally and for my South African exports. I then entered into a business arrangement with a lady from South Africa. She has become one of my loyal buyers. She buys for her personal and family use, as well as for resale in South Africa. There is a buzz of activity at Lupane Growth Point, and honey is a best seller at exhibitions. Mr. Nyovani has sold 100 bottles to the tune of 300 US dollars, and it's another good day in business. Many such exhibitions have been facilitated by the forest forces, the International Trade Fair being one of them. We have been um, supporting government also to create an environment in which communities have a voice uh, in the management of the forest. Uh, in fact, our fire management uh, program has been so successful uh, that at least in one district in Lupane, uh, there has been a reduction of about 50% in fires, which is, which is significant. Nyovani, now guardian of the forest, works together with the fire committee in Wolomoka village of Gomoza, home to both trees and bees. The two live in harmony, but their existence is constantly under threat of destruction by a common enemy, fire. The bees live another day to forage in the forests, and in return, nature's intricate collaboration rewards the community with honey. The firefighting committee is doing a good job in preserving our trees. The trees provide flowers for the bees. We have also reduced veld fires compared to last year. We also received fire extinguishers such as Nepsex sprays, rubbers, shovels, and all the other equipment required. Because honey is so important for these communities, they're now also conserving the forests. So they're not cutting the trees to the extent that they used to, and in addition, they're actually planting more trees. Mr. Nyovani now understands that every tree that survives can mean the income difference that sustains his family. He sends his children to school and supports the beekeeping community in his area. The Forest Forces Project established the core relation between forest management and a thriving honey production business far beyond his expectations. A source of livelihood for his family and a sustainable business for his community 